Hello, you've all grown a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are rehousing a lot of jumping spider babies. I'm not really sure how many survivors we have thus far, but there are quite a few in here. I don't know how well you can tell, but uh, look at that. That is craziness. There's so many. Oh my god, they're everywhere. This whole enclosure is just covered in jumping spider babies, and they're all congregating on this top paper towel, so I can't really take the lid off to like water them or anything, which this means that they have all molted and they have all busted out of their web and they're like ready to go. So originally I was going to rehouse them like five each and little, um, little cuppies. What are they called? Little deli cups, you know, for like your hot sauce, you dip your chicken nuggets in, it's like, um, it's not important. Anyway, yeah, so originally I was gonna rehouse like five or 10 in each little cup, but I decided that I'm going to wait just a little bit longer because they still haven't eaten yet. If you remember my previous video, I did try to feed them fruit flies, but I don't think any of them ate and I just let the fruit flies out. So I'm going to rehouse them. So it is a little challenging because I'm not really sure how I'm going to make this so secure. They're teeny tiny and so my idea, maybe we'll go ahead and drill some holes in the side and then I actually, I stole this really, really fine mesh from one of my old fruit fly cultures and I thought I would go ahead and just drill a bunch of holes and then glue this over it. Ow, pokey. Uh, I thought I would just glue this over the holes on the outside because it's it's pokey on the edges Um, and then they won't get out. As you see, they're all like congregating at the top so Problem solved, right? I don't know, we'll find out together, I guess. I'm sure if I'm doing it wrong, everybody's letting me know by now in the comments. <laughs> I don't know, I think let's do it here. I mean, you wanna do it on the side there? I guess, yeah, I guess let's do it on the top. Yeah, why not? Because I can't get out of it. I just know they're all gonna congregate at the top. So let's just do like down side, you know, try to do that. All right, so we have little holes to start. And that's just so when he uses the larger drill, it won't like slip around or anything. All right, so here are the holes. They're not perfect, but they're definitely functional. And my husband actually smoothed them out too to make sure they're not sharp or anything for the jumping spiders. And then we are just gonna glue this on up here with some hot glue. All right, this is not gonna be the prettiest thing ever, but it's gonna be functional escape proof. Oh yeah. Okay, so this looks like a mess, but the good news is that it's very secure. I ended up putting glue all around it and then just putting it on the ground and going like this and just making sure that it's completely sealed off. There's no way to get out, but this is just temporary anyway, so it doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to work. Now, I will say that I do need to put something in there for them to climb on. And I was like trying to think of things that I could do. I cut this little piece off a plant and what I'm gonna do is actually just do just the littlest piece of glue just to secure it. The reason why I just wanna do a little bit of glue is because when I do rehouse them, I'm going to just pull this out. So I want it to be able to like be easily removed. Dab of glue and hold it down. As for the substrate, I am actually just going to be using more paper towel just because this is easy for me to gently mist and I can see them. They're not gonna get like lost in substrate or anything and it'll make it a lot easier when they do get rehoused into their cups. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like and I'm gonna let it dry overnight and we will rehouse them in the morning. 
Okay, so it is the next day and we are going to finally rehouse all of these teeny tiny little baby jumping spiders into their new enclosure. So this has completely dried. Again, it doesn't look the best, but it is providing the ventilation that they need and it's secure enough to where they're not going to get themselves jammed up between the screen and the enclosure, nor are they going to find a way out, at least from here anyway. So I'm pretty confident that this enclosure will be a great temporary place to house them all together before I separate them and still have pretty easy access in and out of it to mist and feed and all that. So we actually have Fiona and she's got another camera over here. Wow, should we do two separate angles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't you tell us what we're doing? We're doing, uh, we're uh, housing the jumping spiders. <laughs> and you're going to watch and make sure that none run away, right? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And this is Zem's new cage. Thanks. Okay. Good job. I think the easiest way to do this first off will be to take this paper towel off and whatever's on it, I just will add to this paper towel here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see, they have already like started webbing this all up. So they've already built little homes on it and everything. It's so cool. And they're acting like little spiders. I'm pretty sure they'll start eating after this rehouse as well. We'll try feeding them later tonight though. I want them to settle a little bit first. But anyway, let's get to it. All right, I guess let's start by taking this lid off. Oh. I'll do it over this just to be safe. Oh my God, look, there's already one escaping. I was able to easily just uh, put it over here. All right, let's try this again. We already had one jump out as I started removing the lid. So, oh my God, they're all trying to make a run for it. Oh, they've webbed it up like a lot. Of course they have. All right, first let's try to get this lid off. Oh my God, I see another. They're diving down. Oh no, look at this. There's so many. Oh. Hello, you've all grown a lot. Oh no. All right, let's try to get them inside the enclosure. Oh my. So we are just gonna try to get them all to go into this. Look at you. I, I might have underestimated this job. Where? It, oh, that's okay. It's okay. As long as they're in this plastic bin. That's why we have the plastic bin around it. Just so we can watch. And make sure they... Oh, boy. That was close. Okay, we're gonna just pull this out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, do I feel one on me? Nope, that's just my hair. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Now what do we do? <laughs> this is so many and there's still some more in here. Oh. All right, so now we just gotta get them off this paper towel. Oh, don't you, nope, you get back in. All right, so I have gotten most of them in here. There's just a few in here that I gotta grab up, but I think we're doing pretty good. I think we got, oh, there's one on top of it. <laughs> and I see one right here trying to get away. But you are far too little to get anywhere besides in this vial. <laughs> but nice try. All right, I think I have gotten all of them out of the bin now. The hardest thing is like trying not to like let them, oh, stay, 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 there we go. Oh my gosh, these little babies are just like, they jump and web and jump and web. Oh, I see another. Okay, I have scanned the premises for any scapies. There have not been any that I can see that I saw. I, I went through this bin just to make sure and you know, there were a couple that tried to hide up here, but I got them, they're good. These were the ones that were running around the bin that took me a minute to catch, but yeah, these were all the escapees or attempted escapees. Which I had a lot of babies, but I'm so happy about that. Like, I'm so, so happy and just look at them. Um, I'm kind of trying to decide if I should leave these in here or try to put them in here. There's 12 in here and how many are in here? Oh no. Imagine 100 million. Maybe. I don't know, but 
very, these are so tiny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put these 12 in with the rest of their friends. Do a lid check, there's one right there. Okay, let's get the rest of these. Oh, in. there's no holes in there. That's okay, you sure we don't have any? There we go. Scapies. Yeah, I know. We gotta watch out for the scabies. Do you see any? Hopefully they'll come out of that vial and we can pull the vial out. If not, they'll just web it up and that'll be a new little hide for them. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like this video. If you did, subscribe if you're not. And don't forget to visit Scream Videos, probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet pick.